Whoa, is that an invisible spider? That's got to be pretty rare. Wait a minute. What's the rarest mob in all of Minecraft? <laughs> Only one way to find out. After experimenting for hours in a creative world, I found 15 mythical mobs, some of which literally gave me an aneurysm when I discovered them, and not the good kind. So I'll start with the easier ones and work my way up to the hardest ones. First off is the villager riding a chicken. In order to obtain it, I need a zombie villager chicken jockey, which only spawns 0.025% of the time, also known as unbelievably rare. So I have to beef up my mob farm a little bit. Ow. Now I can AFK here for a few hours and all the normal mobs will die while the chicken jockeys should float into this room. All right, it's been about two hours and uh, why aren't there any chicken jockeys? Oh, is it because I'm too far away so they just despawn? You see, the problem is the optimal spot for me to be is up here because it makes the most mobs spawn, but then I'm too far away from the jockeys so they despawn. Now I could light up all the caves underground to increase the spawn rates when I'm down here. Or... Okay, so I built an elevator, so now when a jockey spawns, it'll hopefully go straight up into the room right next to me. Now I'm just gonna AFK here overnight. Boys, it's been about 10 hours and check this out. There are so many chicken jockeys in here and I'm pretty sure that one might be a zombie villager jockey. Oh yeah, it totally is. Hey look, this is the part of the video where I accidentally muted my mic, so let's do some commentary. Okay, it looks like I'm, uh, what am I doing here? Okay, so I'm killing them. Now I separate, oh, I see, they're falling down. Oh, now the zombie villager's on fire. Hmm, maybe it's a good thing that I muted my mic during this. <gasps> no, depression, no. Okay, thankfully after another night AFK, one has spawned. Man, that was annoying. Now I have to figure out how to get it 400 blocks that way to the mob prison. <coughs> <coughs> Museum without it burning to death. Wait, what? Why no go through portal? You don't go through portal. Chicken no go through portal. Portal no let chicken go through portal. Well, I guess I gotta get this numb nuts to the museum the old fashioned way. But the question is, what is the old fashioned way? And also, what's with all the hype about how they used to do it? It's slow and boring. So instead, I invented a new fashioned way. Cure the zombie here, then bring him over while he's a villager and he won't burn to death. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 The only issue is I don't know if you can actually cure a zombie villager on a chicken. If you can't, then this whole idea is kind of ruined. Okay, okay, good news so far, he's caring. Now I'm just afraid that he will dismount once he becomes a villager. Oh snap! It actually worked! Haha, <laughs> suck it! I have no idea who I'm telling to suck it, but somebody suck it, I'm so happy. There was only one single baby problem with everything leading up to this point. I hadn't exactly made the museum. I, I, don't judge me, okay? It's really hard making videos. Just kidding, it's actually really easy. <laughs> I tricked you again, just kidding, it's super hard. There are 15 mythical mobs in all, so I will have one cage for each. However, three of them fit into their own weird category, so they will be put together in glass tubes in a single room, like they've been experimented on or something. So I enrolled VC, that's Villager Chicken, in the Space Academy program. All right, buddy, here we go. <laughs> this is sick. I wonder what this looks like. <laughs> then I stuck him in a cage where he'll never see sunlight again. I mean, he has a good home and a friend. Now, now, I know this looks unethical. That is one mob finished, 14 to go. Also, if you think this mob is crazy, it is nothing compared to the mobs later in the video. This next mob is not gonna be in one of these tubes. Its name, Jeff, with three Fs. Oh, but um, yeah, it's a nether mob, as you can see from the nether cage. This mob has a 1% chance of spawning. It's known as the triple strider. Wait, did you hear that? Uh oh, no, 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 I think the villager's dying. Oh, no, 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 oh no, look at that, he's suffocating. Uh, okay, I gotta break these. Hopefully he doesn't get out and his zombie doesn't fall in. Okay, yeah, the- Oh, okay, so the chicken's jumping and it's pushing him in there. Uh, okay, I need quartz stairs, I think. Okay, now if I fill this in and if I place quartz stairs like so... Uh, okay, I need to place this one, I think, like this. I don't even know if I can place him this way. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now you can't suffocate. Whew, that was a close call. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah, triple striders. Three striders stacked atop one another like Goombas, except they're not brown, they have long legs and mustaches. Uh, they definitely do not have mustaches. I don't know what I was thinking right here. After literal hours of searching around and thousands of striders spotted, not a singular one was a triple strider. Well, 
I guess it wouldn't be a single strider if there are three. Not a triple strider was a triple str- No, that still doesn't really make sense. Turns out they removed triple striders at one point. Why, Mojang? Why do you do this to me? I just spent four hours searching for a mob that doesn't exist. It's times like this where I remind myself of the old show business saying, the show must go wrong and you just have to deal with it. Luckily for us, there's such a thing as a double strider. Not as cool, but- uh, hold on, why won't it- Turns out, just like chicken jockeys, double striders don't go through portals, so I just wasted a solid five hours for literally nothing. But, don't worry, I got the next best thing. A dismembered triple strider. Yay, totally just as cool and rare, and guys, please don't bully me, okay? I did my best, I promise all the other mobs do exist. This next mob isn't quite like any of the other mobs. Well, I guess none of them are like each other, except for the three that are in these tubes that are kind of similar. Okay, I need cobwebs, lava, chains, glass panes, moss, and now I have to place a block. Woo! Okay, epic dungeon room. This room is here for a peaceful pillager. However, I need a normal pillager first, and since I couldn't find one in the first 18 seconds that I looked around for, I decided to continue the structure of the museum while I wait for some pillager scouts to spawn. Because, you know what they say, if you're making a museum with the rarest mobs in Minecraft and you need a peaceful pillager, it's better to build a museum while waiting for that to spawn outside otherwise and... I Wait, what was I saying? I made some professional expansions and yet no pillagers have spawned. So I looked up why and it said I have network connectivity problems. I stole that straight from Parks and Rec. <laughs> so now I'm looking for the next mob while I wait for the pillager to spawn. The left-handed skeleton, baby. Now, these guys may have an 11% chance of spawning, but not if I have anything to do with it. Okay, it doesn't really make sense, but trust me, you'll understand. If they can hold armor, then they only have a 1% chance of spawning. That's not a left-handed skeleton. Another righty tidy. Ooh, hey buddy, ha, <laughs> gotcha. Idiot. Now the real test, does this human man of a skeleton being wear armor? And no. Well, I guess I gotta find- Oh wait, what? He done put on the helmet! Oh, Jeffrey, I got a present for you, buddy. Shiny, like the, uh, something shiny. Okay, yep, next mob. I thought maybe if I watched Sand Diction for an hour on this tree, a pillager scout would spawn and I could get the peaceful pillager. And guess what? I was wrong. I bet you didn't see that coming. Okay, I'm tired of waiting for a pillager to spawn. Wait, what? Is that grass? Now blue concrete. A tree? Whatever could I possibly be building? It's a- it, it's a cage, you moron. Now I'm on the hunt. Ethan hunt. Wait, no. I'm on the hunt for a pink sheep. Most people know pink sheep spawn naturally, but let's just dye this one pink. I mean, it's so much easier. <laughs> You moron, you actually believe I'm gonna die the sheep? I'm gonna fly around till I find one like a good boy. Oh, hold on, I found a jungle. And if I'm extremely lucky, there could be an ultra rare brown panda here. Nope, okay, see ya, nerds. No way, a mangrove swamp, that's sick. Got a mangrove swamp in my house, if you know what I mean. Do you? Please let me know. I have no idea what I mean. I was just hoping it had some sort of deeper meaning. After an hour and six minutes of searching, I found exactly what I hadn't been looking for. A pillager outpost, baby. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say pink sheep. And I, I wish I was gonna say pink sheep. And you know what that means? A laze. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say pillagers because I need one, but nope. I am the dumbest human being alive, and for some reason, I didn't grab one of these pillagers and instead flew the LA all the way back and forgot about the pillager outpost. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong portal. Hey. <laughs> So, I'm still on the hunt for a pink sheep, but I got sidetracked again. There's a mountain here, and I really need a unicorn, because believe it or not, they spawn in mountains. Oh, what's that? Unicorns aren't in the game? Well, first of all, suck it. But second of all, I said unique horn, not unicorn. Some goats have a single horn on their white hairy heads. Why do all these goats have both horns? Oh, they have to ram into solid blocks to lose their horn. In that case, I'll just wait here until one eats the tree. While AFKing, I did some more research on goats. Did you know that goats have rectangular pupils? Me neither. Did you know that goats are domesticated species typically kept as livestock and are from Southwest Asia? Wait, I don't think I'm researching Minecraft goats. This sounds like real life goats. After day and night, rain and shine, wet and dry, dark and light, yin and yang, never once did a goat smack a tree. Oh, but check it out. I found this dope goat horn. Uh -huh. What's that? You don't like my music? Yeah, now you're dead. You're both dead. All y'all dead. Boom, get splinched. While flying around, I finally found something. Wait a minute. No way. No way. <laughs> Let's go. It's a pink sheep. Dude, I thought that was going to be another pig again. Oh, this took so long. So apparently these sheep only have a 0.164% chance of spawning. That explains why it took me three hours to find one. Well, also the fact that I kept getting sidetracked and looking for other animals. And I was slightly preoccupied with a few waffles and a solid episode of Psych. All right, there we go. The fifth mob is captured. Only 10 to go.
The first mythical creature that I imprisoned, <coughs> collected and gave a good healthy home to, uh, sorry, what was I saying? The cough kind of made me lose my- Oh yeah, the first mythical creature that I imprisoned was a villager riding a chicken. I said that was one of the three creatures in these tube lab torture chamber things. Yeah, I'm just owning the fact that I'm torturing these guys now. Suck it, PETA. The second human person is another villager, but with a twist. First, we need to find a swamp. Very good. Now we need to find a village next to it. Oh yes, perfect, perfect. This is actually kind of insane luck right here. Okay, now the villagers are making hearts. Um, and what the heck? You're not supposed to look like that. What's wrong with you? Imagine looking normal. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Okay, slight misstep. Apparently mangrove swamps don't count as normal swamps. So, no problem though. I found a new spot. All right, kissy kissy and yes sir. That right there is a swamp villager. The only way to get them is, well, what I just did. Some might call this child abduction, but I would call it adoption after a tragedy. I'm a hero here. And just like that, test subject number 18 hath been a place. <laughs> now I'm just flying around looking for all the random mobs that are less annoying to get. And would you look at that? This man has a fork in his hand. I need to try it for one of the later mobs when I find a mushroom island. What? I actually got it? That is insane. No way. <laughs> Oh, what? Dude, this is insane. That's a red cow place, the, 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 the mushroom island. That's the word. This is literally what I needed the trident for, and I just got the trident. So now I can brownify a mushroom using lightning. The brown mushroom is one of the rarest mobs in my museum. Only problem is my trident is unenchanted and has a single durability. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. Sorry, it has zero durability. Oh, that's a single enchantment table enchantment. Look at all What? <laughs> that's so lucky. All right, now I just have to add mending, and there we go. Ah, much better. Now I just have to wait for a thunderstorm. There I was, sitting in the world's biggest mushroom, waiting and waiting for a thunderstorm. There I was, still sitting there while a rainstorm passes me by without a clue. Why did I leave to take a dump right exactly when there's a thunderstorm? I knew I shouldn't have eaten those waffles. And after an hour, one actually came. Now was my time. All right, now that it's daytime, let's grab the mushroom, drive over the nether roof, and boom. Mob number seven is completed. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the video, and this is where we're at now. We're almost halfway there. Only problem is they keep getting harder and harder to get. Not to mention some of them just get really weird. I'm especially not excited to capture the worm because I am not ready for that battle. Okay, now it's time to capture everyone's favorite mob, the blue axolotl. This one seems common because everyone talks about it, but it's actually only a one in 1200 chance that one will spawn. Also, you can't find them anymore. They only appear through breeding. But first, I need two axolotls, so let's fly to my giant 500 by 500 void chunk and fly along the edges to see if there's a lush cave with any axolotls. Aha, there we go. Now I just need some tropical fish and let's breed them up. While I wait for them to breed, let me grab some coral, sand, concrete, water, and boom, cage finished. However, it's gonna take a long time for me to get the blue axolotl, so let's focus on the other mobs right now. I still haven't got the unicorn, so I made a little cage for a bunch of goats and now I'm just waiting for one to ram the stone. Hey, there we go. Now, I know I called it a unicorn and made an excuse and I said it was unicorn, but in reality, it really is a unicorn. Horn, provided you squint your eyes so hard that you can't see and then imagine a picture of a horse with a horn. This next mob is gonna take me forever, so let's speed run it for the video. Cobwebs, oak, stone. This world is hardcore, which means that spiders can spawn with random potion effects. That means if a spider jockey spawns, there's a chance the spider has a potion effect. And that effect could be invisibility, so it would be a skeleton riding an invisible spider, which is just absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, they are unbelievably rare, so I need to find a spawner, mine it out, place some water, make an overcomplicated redstone machine that detects the spider jockeys and launches them into a separate room while normal spiders burn alive in lava. Realize it doesn't work, rebuild the design completely, but still have it way more complicated than it needs to be. You know, I I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Then I realized the spiders can climb walls and keep getting stuck at the top, so I'll make a flushing machine that pushes the spiders down, take a quick dump, AFK for a night, and find out that it didn't work, fix it, and AFK again, and here we are, invisible spider jockey. This took way more time than it should have. By far the hardest mob to get so far. I did not expect that, but we aren't out of the woods yet. I still have to make the water elevator, a tunnel way that connects the elevator to the museum, get the skeleton jockey to follow me into it, and wow. There we go. That took way too long. Also, I had to change all the stone to slabs because the spider kept trying to suffocate the skeleton. But wow, this was by far the hardest one yet. Did I mention this took me way too long? I'm not excited for the next mobs. Also, look at that, I'm a human porcupine. Next mob! Throughout the entire two day experience, I've been breeding and killing off these axolotls continually and finally, I got a blue one. Look at this dude. You know, I'm tired of waiting for a pillager scout to spawn near me. I'm going to the pillager outpost to grab one there. So according to one of the most trustworthy and wholesome sources in the world, TikTok, if a pillager shoots me enough times, its crossbow will break and it won't be able to attack me, becoming a perfectly perpetual peaceful pillager, probably. 
Palindrome? Now I just wait here for it to shoot like 400 arrows. Ah, yes, finally. That was much longer than I anticipated. Ow! Oh man, all the arrows hit me. Ha, <laughs> look at this nerd. <laughs> Can't even touch me. Hold on, this pig's in the way. Look away, children at home. And we made it. Now, allow me to explain the plan. This peaceful pillager is gonna sit here on the glass pane below this chain. Then I name him Dinnerbone, rendering him upside down, and it looks like he's in a wet, musty dungeon room hung over lava. Suck it, idiot. Now, it may look like I'm torturing him, but in reality, it has all the qualities of my dream home. Big, nice window, lava feature, Brick walls, chain, moss, holes in the ground, a gray man in a weird coat. All right, enough putting it off, no more excuses. It's time to do the deed I have been teasing at this entire time. The whole video has built up to this one moment. Let's find ourselves the brown panda. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say the warden. Heck no, I'm waiting till the very end for that. Mostly because I'm pretty scared he's gonna kill me. Cage done. Oh, rats, I thought that was him. Oh, yes! All right, sweet. That only took me an additional hour and a half. Man, this guy is fat. He probably doesn't even fit in the- Oh, <laughs> look at his stupidness. He takes up the entire boat, and yet somehow I can still fit inside. How are we both in here? He's literally bigger than a planet. I'm pretty sure I feel a gravitational pull towards him. Is this what love is? Brown panda done. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. You know, I say that every time. The third lab test person contestant thing. This one requires me to go to a jungle. Nice. And there has to be a village. Nice. Now I bring the villager to the jungle. Nice. Now I breed them. Nice. Now I murder the parents and steal the child. Nice. Now I lock them in a cage for the rest of eternity. Nice. You may have noticed the size of the cage is slightly different from the size of the rest. It's not because the three on this wall are any more important than the other mobs. It's just that all the other mobs are slightly less important and the three on this wall are more important than the other mobs. First off, we got the Invis Spider Jockey, one of the hardest of them all. Then in this cell will be the Warden. However, here we will not just have a skeleton horse trap, but the skeleton horse with the rider still on it. There we go, cage done. Ooh, finally, skeleton horse. Wow, that took ages. I've spent weeks capturing all these mobs. Some of them took days while others took mere hours. However, one mob still stands in my way. All right, warden buddy, it's time to get gone. First, I need a Rocky style training sesh, and by training sesh, just, I mean getting good armor because my, my current armor is pretty bad. All right, now I'm fully decked out and ready for battle. But before we do that, there's something I gotta do. It was at this point that I heard the news about Technoblade, so I decided to construct his head in my world. It's a permanent spot. Rest in peace. All right, it is finally time to do the deed. Deed the do. Mr. Warden, going downtown, shun. All right, I believe this is the cave. Oh, 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 oh. this is about to get intense. Yo! <laughs> oh, snappers. This is so exciting. I don't see any, any creatures around. What? What? So my plan is basically just that I'm gonna make this tube that goes up and then there's gonna be a water elevator that I, the warden follows me into and then gets launched into, you know, up into the overworld up there. And then I take him through the nether back to my zoo. There's a torch. Oh, I placed that torch, I think. All right, now I gotta do the water. I just heard a screecher. I definitely heard a screecher, but I, I don't remember what they're called. The things that scream. Oh, that was just one of them. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Solid bubble columns going all the way up now. Now, all I need to find myself a little warden buddy. Let's name this bad boy Bob. Man, I'm, I'm, my heart is going absolutely wild at this point. Oh, and I have to sneeze. <coughs> What's up with all these candles? So romantic or something. Are there no, there's a screecher. It's also a chest right there. I'm just gonna cover you completely. Oh, look at that, it's another name tag. Don't need it. Oh, balls. I hear sketch noises. Oh no, I can't see. I can't, blind, blinded by the light, blinded by the dark. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. I need there to be a warden though. I like, I, I can't see and I don't like this, but I also need there to be a warden. Okay guys, here we go. Oh balls. Oh, check this dude out. That is so dope. Okay. Right here, buddy. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I don't know where I'm going. I can't see. I'll have to name him. I'm pretty despawned quickly. 
Oh, okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, 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 okay. Ha, parkour, parkour. Yeah, you can't do parkour, idiot. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh! 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 I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'm running. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, where is he? I can hear him, but I can't see him. It's like lightning. Oh, right now. That's you hear it before you see it. Or... Oh, here we go. There he is. There he is. Oh, boss. Oh, boss. Oh, boss. Oh, boss. Meeting in the off chapel. Meeting in the off chapel. Where's my. Oh, no. I don't know. I thought saw me. I got him. I got him. Oh, no. My other totems are back there now. <laughs> this is the skin. Oh, no, boss. I don't know where my other totems are. They're, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. I feel like I'm in a path. Bro. Bro. <laughs> All I needed was just some more totems. And if I. Oh, I could have planned that out so much better. Well, I guess that's the end of this series. I'm gonna start a new hardcore world, I guess, next episode. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I did. Alright, peace!